Hey guys, it's Smack4TW. I just one of my comments. I just saw somebody asked me if I knew how you, how you could hard code subs, you know, into a movie because I mean, if you're not from the states, you speak no language. The Xbox, for example, I'm not sure the PS3, but I guess one either. She's asking about the PS3. I know for sure my Xbox won't play them. And as a matter of fact, if I have a movie that has subtitles in it, my uh, my Xbox just won't play it. So they have to be hard coded. They have to be part of the stream. Like they won't, they can't be a separate file. They have to be a part of the movie. So. So, I figured it out, I played with it a little bit. This video, I'm doing it with a uh, normal, a DivX movie, the little 700 meg ones. Right now I'm copying this, right here, I'm copying 7 pounds in HD. It's an MKV file over from my desktop, it's going over the network though, so it's, you know, it's going kind of slowish. But, um, let's get started, right? So, subs and MKVs are different. I'll do this one for AVIs, I'll do one for MKVs later. This probably works though. So you need two files for, to do it with DivX ones. You got your AVI movie, and then you need the SRT file, right? Now you got to make sure they have the exact same name. Only one is dot .AVI, and this one's dot .SRT. The easiest way to do it, like this was actually said something like this when I downloaded. It said AMG because it's an English sub, right? But what I do then is I just click here, select that, and copy that, and then I just select up here and paste it, and that way you know it's the exact same thing, right? Oh, one thing before this. That's what we're going to work with. You need to install Perian. I made a video about that, so go install Perian. Check it out. It's, um, I forgot what the website is. Perian. Yeah, Perian.org. Just download this and install it. All right? Once it's installed, you want, you're going to go to System Preferences, and it's going to have a little, um, a little button here. So you click on that. And you want this checked. The load external subtitles, make sure that's checked. Okay? That's it's a it's free, it's really nice. It'll help you play MKVs through this too, all the subtitles. It's it's to get let QuickTime play this stuff. So load external subtitles, okay? Close that. Now you're gonna put these two files in the same folder. I just made an untitled folder and put them there. And just double click on it. QuickTime will open it, right? Well, open it with QuickTime. Mine just double click on. Now if I hit play here, let me Find a spot. See, it's got it's playing oh, yeah. subtitles. You can mess with that. I, I showed this in another video, I believe. But anyway, if you go to window and go to show movie properties, you can see what subtitles are there. I could have more subtitles in here. They just all pop here, and I can pick them, right? But anyway, this divx here, that is obviously this. This movie file. Then we have the soundtrack. It's on peg layer three. That's just MP3. And then the video track, which is the subtitles, which is this, right? Now, I'm going to cut this movie so I don't have to encode the whole thing to show you guys. So, I mean, you guys probably figure out what I'm doing here. I'm just going to use QuickTime. Oh, sorry. You want to leave this stuff selected up here. You want the subtitles to leave them selected. Check on them. So they show in QuickTime, see? So I'm just going to take a little chunk of the movie that I'm going to mess with because I don't want to have to encode everything. So I'm, I'm just going to choose that file and trim the selection because I don't want to work with the whole thing but you know you can you don't have to do that actually it's still too long there we go trim selection again oh edit trim selection that gives me instead of encoding half an hour, I mean an hour and a half I'm just going to encode 48 seconds to show you guys anyway, once you did this I mean once you set you open it in quick time you played it you saw the subject the show right at the utility door. No, it's way out on the edge of town. We need some place close to hide. That works good, right? Now you're going to go to File and Save As. And you save it to Self-Contained Movie. Just change the name, put it somewhere else so you know where it is. Just I'll put it on the desktop. I'll, I'll put subs in here too, because we know they're there, right? Save it to Self-Contained Movie, hit Save. Now, that usually takes maybe a minute or two, but since I spliced it down so much, it's, you know, I mean, I cut it down so much, it, it went faster. Anyway, you close quick time now you're done. Now if you open this movie that we just made, it's gonna end with MOV, the subtitles are in it. And once again, the, the difference is now we don't have the SRT file. If you open movie properties, you can still see the, the video track there. But it's selected by default and um, we don't have the separate file anymore. So now we can open Visual, which I, I believe everybody's using here anyway. If you've looked at my other videos, but 
Now, what works for the Xbox, I'm guessing for the PS3 as well, is Apple TV here selected. And H.264 encoding, we want that. Here, you can go and go nuts on quality. I'm just going to leave And under advanced, you can set two pass for better quality. I'm just going to leave it like that because I just want to show you guys what this looks like. Anyway, you drag this in here, and you hit start. And that's going to take a little while. I mean, it should be done pretty fast. It's only a minute. And it'll give you a .mp4 file. H.264 encoding, so it'll play perfectly. You know, and that's the encoding you want on HD video. And the subtitles will be part of it. And I'll show you the difference between two files in a minute using QuickTime so you can understand what it's doing. Now, I would recommend if you're starting with MKVs, just the first time around, do this to them. And like I said, I'll make only an MKV in a minute. Let's just show you the basic thing. So you're just going to hit OK and we're done. Here's the encoded one. So let's open that QuickTime. The generator. The subtitles. But when we go to Window and show Movie Properties, we don't see the subtitles track. Which means this is already hard coded in there. Like this, you cannot get these subtitles off this movie, which is what you need if you want to play them on the Xbox. So that's it. Let me uh, just try that. I tried it earlier, it ran fine. I just went through it again. And if you need help, let me know. Like I said, in a minute, once this thing starts cop stops copying over in a couple minutes, I'll do it with, a, with an MKV HD file. See if that works too, but it should. It's I'm doing the same stuff, and um, yeah, good luck. Let me know if it works for you.